We begin tonight at 5 with the latest on a fire at a homeless encampment in Providence. We're told the call came in at about 5 o'clock this morning and the flames were under control in about 25 minutes. Shino Lushuto spent the day talking to people in the area and has the details live from Providence. Well, the fire broke out behind a few local businesses, and I spoke to business owners who say they have a lot of concerns right now because homeless people have lived back there for a while now. Flashing red lights, you couldn't miss him off of Union Avenue early Tuesday morning. Fire crews found a fire by the train tracks behind a commercial building on Whitehall Street, discovering a homeless encampment on fire. Providence's fire chief says what appears to be a small shed caught fire, along with brush in the area, propane tanks were also involved. By daylight, signs of a fire were minimal. The fire chief says it also appears no one was around for the fire, so no one was hurt. The fire broke out hours before the Low and Moderate Income Housing Commission met at the State House, hearing an update from newly appointed Housing Secretary Stephen Pryor. There are too many brothers and sisters who are currently unsheltered right here in Rhode Island. Many gathered around the table here share the goal of supporting and helping those who live without shelter. Pryor tells the commission he and the Department of Housing are working on several ways to do that, including finding more shelter space. We need to stand up more shelters and centers um, en route to longer term solutions. Now that commission meeting was already scheduled for a while now. We did not get a chance to ask Pryor about the fire specifically to get his reaction. And that fire is still under investigation tonight. Reporting live in Providence, I'm Sheena Loshuto, 12 News. Tim, thank you. A fire at a Providence homeless encampment is reigniting debate over the state's housing crisis. The fire started overnight near the train tracks in between Whitehall Street and Huntington Avenue. 12 News reporter Shida Loshudo has been gathering information about what happened and joins us live from Providence with what she's learned. Well, the fire broke out in an area that's behind a few different businesses. And I spoke to business owners who say a couple of homeless people live back there, but thankfully firefighters say no one was hurt. A homeless encampment fire. That's what Providence fire officials say sparked this response just after 5 o'clock Tuesday morning. Police and fire crews were spotted in the area off of Union Avenue. The fire was behind a commercial building. Employees there tell us this did not impact business. Providence's fire chief says crews found a small 8x8 shed on fire, along with some burning brush in the area, too. The chief says propane tanks were also involved. Firefighters got the fire under control in just about 25 minutes, and after searching the area, it appears no one was there. Here's a look at the scene in the daylight. Signs of the fire are now minimal. The fire broke out on the same day Housing Secretary Stephen Pryor speaks at the Low and Moderate Income Housing Commission meeting. On the agenda, a call to increase housing production and goals to further address homelessness. There are too many brothers and sisters who are currently unsheltered right here in Rhode Island. Pryor tells the commission the Department of Housing is actively working on several ways to support those living without shelter and exploring ways to better prevent homelessness for people in the first place. We need to stand up more shelters and centers um, en route to longer term solutions. And we just want to make it clear tonight that meeting was already scheduled and we did not get a chance to ask Pryor about that fire specifically. And the cause of that fire remains under investigation tonight. Reporting live in Providence, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.